giving them the thing there anyway. The ice dogs are There you go. Back to lower base cam, I was about to say. Um, yeah, they were like, yeah, you gotta be back on these cameras. Top with two. So we have contact. Fucking bridge for 3.5. Top with two. They glow in the dark. It's yes. got tritium in it, uh -huh. so at night it glows, and that's how you sight in at night. It's the. I just took them all over the back down. My name is 2nd Lieutenant Connor Wilkinson. I am with 3rd Battalion 6 Marines and I am the Executive Officer of Headquarters and Service Company. We are in Mountain Warfare Training Center in Bridgeport, California. MTX is mountain training exercise, so it's bringing Marines out to the mountains and high elevation and getting them accustomed to training at high altitude in a mountainous environment. Second Marine Division is from Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, so Camp Lejeune does not have that many mountains or high elevation. So we bring 2nd Marine Division out here to get accustomed to training in the mountains and at high altitude so they are better equipped to fight wherever the next war might be, whether that's North Korea or China or Russia. They all have some kind of mountainous terrain. So bringing 2nd Marine Division out to Bridgeport, California, it really gets them ready to basically fight in any clime or place. Out here we have 3rd Battalion 6 Marines, we have 3rd Battalion 8th Marines, we have 8th Engineer Support Battalion, and we have 2nd Combat Engineer Battalion. This type of training helps Marines be more expeditionary because back at Camp Lejeune, we're training on flat land where it's not quite as cold, but coming out here, we're kind of embracing the elements, getting out into the snow, walking in snowshoes, and we're basically learning how to operate in a snow-covered, high-altitude environment. Marines exemplified physical and mental toughness. Well, first of all, physical toughness. Some of the hikes out here going up and down the hills are very strenuous on the Marines, especially for Marines who are not accustomed to the high altitude. And then you add on the elevation factor. Hiking is very difficult out here, not to mention the weight that we're carrying. Hiking can certainly be something that needs to be considered when doing a movement with a company or a platoon of Marines. First and foremost, mental toughness is essential out here. This this land is very unforgiving. It's the high altitude, it's the cold weather, it's the snow, and it really tests the Marines' leadership to be able to lead Marines that are not highly motivated, that don't want to get out of the bag in the morning and don't want to go on that snowshoe movement. So the NCOs and the staff NCOs, it's up to them to motivate their Marines. So that they need to be especially mentally tough to get the Marines to do what they need to do. Certain things for me that were focused on during this training were especially mobility, how fast Marines can move in a mountainous and snowy terrain. And, and that just goes into time space considerations. How fast can you get your platoon or company to a certain position? Because out here, everything's a lot slower. So you need to take that into consideration when you're planning a movement or you wanna get your company from one place to another. So coming out here, I was supposed to be the maintenance management officer but I soon found out that I would be a porter squad leader. And when I was told what that was, I really had no idea what I was about to get into. But as I started to understand the mission that the companies wanted to do, I understood how hard logistics would be in this mountainous and high elevation snowy terrain. So the porters were tasked with resupplying the companies. And out here we use tuckers, which are snow vehicles, and they can't always get to the companies where they're positioned at. So the porters would load up the tuckers with supplies, and then we would hike 
the supplies from the tucker to the company where the tucker couldn't get to. One thing in particular about this training is it's very hard to get water resupply to the companies. So what I didn't realize when I came out here was that we would be boiling snow to make water. And in a winter like this, where it's especially warm and mild climate, it's very hard to get that snow to boil the water. So sometimes we would have to go into a snow covered area just to get water. I'm Sergeant Brian Labiosa. I'm with 3rd Battalion, 6th Marines, and I'm the Armory NCUIC. We're in Marine Corps Mountain Warfare Training Center, Bridgeport, California. So MTX stands for Mountain Training Exercise. What it is, is basically an, a training exercise that gives us the opportunity to, as small unit leaders, build one another and learn about the terrain that we're operating in. MTX stands for Mountain Training Exercise. What it is is basically an exercise that allows us to Marines to learn how to operate in colder climates. Being that it's in the cold weather, we're just learning how to deal with frostbite and operate in these temperatures. Second Marine Division does these type of training events to prepare us for any type of terrain or, and or adversary that we're gonna be fighting against in the future. The units participating in this exercise are 3rd Battalion, 6th Marines, 3A, and 8th ESP. This training prepares 3-6 to be more expeditionary ready by allowing us to get used to the, the climate and just understand what we're getting ourselves into if we get that call to come to a, a climate like this. Marines have displayed mental and physical toughness by learning how to operate in these temperatures and understand their bodies and the Marines. Some of the things that were focused on in this training were frostbite, learning how to wear the proper clothing and how to operate in this type of climate, such as trail breaking, learning how to patrol throughout different areas of these mountains. I got tasked with the job of being a porter. What a porter is, is basically a pack mule for the Marines. It allows the Marines to do their leaders recons and be as mobile as possible. Once they reach their checkpoints, we will then go in and give them their gear. That way they can operate with their actual combat load and or existence load, whatever they, they have for that mission.